Have you guys been losing so many rank points against Elisas who just mash chainsaw moves that you do not know how to counter? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to demolish every single Elisa you play in ranked. And in order to do that, let's talk about three golden rules against Elisa. The first golden rule against Elisa is to always interrupt her chainsaw stance. She can either enter this stance manually by pressing down 1 plus 2, or she can enter the stance through means of a string, like 3-2. What you might not know about this stance is that you can interrupt it by either hitting her or by hitting her block. You see, the chainsaws retract and she no longer has them. The reason why this is important is because this can make the difference between eating infinite plus frames against Elisa or just interrupting her and stopping her pressure completely. The second golden rule is to always punish strings that end with a mid chainsaw. So this string ends with a mid that's also a chainsaw. Whenever that happens, it's always going to be minus 10 and above. So as you can see there, I got my punish. Let's see another string. This string ends with a mid that's also a chainsaw. And it's minus 12. So whenever you see a string that has those properties that ends with a mid chainsaw, it will always be minus 10 and above. This rule only applies if Elise is in her normal stance. If she is in chainsaw stance, she has access to plus frame mids. The final rule against Elisa is to stay as close to her as possible. The reason being is that you want to be in the driver's seat in this matchup. You do not want to give her enough space to set up all of her shenanigans and her chainsaw stuff. Another thing to keep in mind of is that she has some moves that have good tracking from long range. So if I try to sidestep this, I get hit. Let me try one more time. I also get hit. But if I sidestep in close range, I do not get hit. Elisa's 1-2 is a high high that is minus 3 on block. It has two follow-ups. The first one is 1-2-2. One, two, two. This one is a high high high. And the other one is 1-2-2, one, two, down two, which is a high high low. So to beat both of them, you can just duck and beat both options. So if you ever see her doing a 1-2, just block low and you'll beat everything. Let's talk about Elisa's keep out options. The first one she has is her back back 1 plus 4. This move is unblockable and it reaches full screen. To beat this, you can either duck it, or you can sidewalk if you're close and get a punish. Her second keep out tool is her forward 4-1-4, which looks like this. This one you cannot duck because it's a mid. To beat this, just get close to her and punish it because it's minus 12. Let me show you one more time. Minus 12, you can punish it. Elisa has an annoying string, which is 2-3. This string has two follow-up extensions. You can do 2-3-3-4, three, three to get a mid follow up and you can do 2, 3, 4 to get a low follow up. So at first glance it might seem like it's a 50-50 but in reality it's not. You can fuzzy block both options. To do that, whenever you hear Elisa shout and you don't see the mid, block low. So you can use the auto cue to help you. So let me try to do this randomly. I hear a shout, she does the mid. I hear a shout, she does not do the mid. I hear a shout, she does not do the mid. I hear a shout, she does the mid. As you can see, I can block all of them. Two grabs that Elisa's love to do are her up forward 1 plus 2, which looks like this. And the second throw that she has is her while crouching down back 1 plus 2, which looks like this. To beat both throw options, you can take them with 1 plus 2. Let me show you what I mean. So right here, I can take it with 1 plus 2, and the other throw, 1 plus 2. Elisa's down forward 1, 1, 2 string is probably her strongest string in this game. This move is a mid-high high that puts her at plus 6 inside of her chainsaw stance. To beat this move, you can just duck the second mid-high. So if I duck this high, I can launch her. But what the Elisa could do is she could do her down forward 1-4, which is a mid-mid. It has the same animation, so if you try ducking, you still get hit. The way to beat both options is to look at visual cues. Whenever Elisa does the long string, her body rotates 360 degrees. So, if you ever see her body spin 360 degrees, just duck and launch her. Right here, I ducked and I launched. And if you don't see her body rotate 360 degrees, then you can just punish her, because this string is minus 11 on block. So you can get your punish, and that's that. Elisa's back 3 plus 4 is a really gimmicky move, because if she inputs this move twice, she becomes plus 5 on block in your face. To beat this move, you can just jab her in the air, and get a float combo. One of Elisa's stances is her boot stance. They can input it by pressing forward 3 plus 4, and it looks like this. To beat every option out of this stance, you just need two things. You need to be close to them, and you need a sidewalk left. 
So if I put it to random, let's see. I'm dodging this, dodging this, dodging this, dodging this, dodging this. You get the idea. Finally, let's talk about Elisa's chainsaw stance. To be honest, this stance does not have a one-size-fits-all solution. It just has way too many plus frames, tracking moves, mid and lows to keep track of. The best solution that I found is to back dash after every string she does and then whiff punish. Let me show you. So right now I'm gonna back dash, back dash, and whiff punish. But keep in mind you might get clipped while whiff punishing. You need to wait a bit longer. So if I try to whiff punish really fast, let's see what happens. Back dashing, back dashing. You see, I get clipped by the chainsaws. So you need to time it. Another thing you might do is you could super armor. So if she does this, you can super armor the second move and get away. But the problem with this is she could also use her lows. So if I try to super armor here, I get hit by the low. So to be honest, I think back dashing and whiff punishing is the best you could do. To recap everything, don't forget about the three golden rules. The first one was to always interrupt her chainsaw stance whenever you could. The second one was to punish any string that ended with a mid chainsaw. And the third one is to stay as close as possible to her to take control of the match. If she ever does a 1-2 string, you can always duck the third hit because it beats both options. If she ever throws you, you can 1 plus 2 tech. If she goes into boot, sidewalk left. And against chainsaws, just back dash and pray to god that you don't lose the game. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you guys want any other anti-character videos, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.